P1 out is a procedure. It has two parameters. First one is in parameter, second one is out parameter. First is in, second is out. That means for the first parameter you need to supply input value and the second parameter will give an output value. V2 is the out, out parameter which is second, V2 equal to V1 into 5. Whatever the value we are passing in V1, that value will be multiplied by 5, the result will be stored in V2, that V2 we can get it as output value. And we are displaying the same output through DBMS output statement as well. This is for display purpose and out variable is for the calling environment. Suppose if we call this procedure in Java program, the value of the out parameter will go to the Java program. Execute p1 out 2 comma 3. This will throw error message. Number of parameters are matching. Two formal parameters and two actual parameters. First condition is matching, number of, form, number of parameters. What about the second parameters? Second condition, that is data types of the corresponding parameters, formal and actual. First one is number, the input value is also number. Second one is number, input value is also number. Second condition is also matching. What about the third? The type of parameter. First one is in parameter. We should supply input value. Second one is output uh, out parameter. It will give an output value. To store that output value, we should have some memory over there. If you pass 2, it cannot hold the value given by V2. So we should give a placeholder or a memory holder which can keep the value which is given by v2 as a second parameter that means we should pass a variable for the second parameter expression 3 cannot be used as an assignment target we cannot store anything inside that if you pass only one wrong number are types of arguments number of parameters are not matching first condition itself is failed Now, how can we call this? We can call this using a local variable through PLSQL block. A is a local variable. We are calling the previous proce procedure P1 out. First is num in parameter, we are passing a value. Second one is out parameter, we need to provide a memory which we have already defined here, A as number. <coughs> when we call this, Inside the body of this, we have v2 equal to v1 into 5, that is v1, v1 what we are passing is 2, so 2 into 5 is 10, 10 will be stored here, that will be displayed as output. So now, if you pass a as second parameter, so that a will have 10 as value if v1 is 2. See here, 2 comma a, a is local variable. So 2 into 5, which is 10, 10 will be stored in this a. That value will be displayed here. So the value is 10. See from proc we are getting 10, from block we are getting 10. This is from block. And this is from PROC. From the original procedure, we are getting one value. And from our local block also, we are getting one more DBMS. So we get two outputs. From the original procedure, this is the output. From this current block, this is the output. Now, call this procedure using execute command. 
execute p1 out of 5 comma second parameter which is out parameter it will give you a value to store that value we need a variable since it is not a PL SQL block we can go for global variable define a variable in the calling environment that is if it is SQL plus define a variable in SQL plus if it is IASQL plus define a variable in IASQL plus if it is Java define a variable in Java and use it here as simple as that now p1 out of 5 comma the memory x x is a bind variable from the calling environment and make sure that the x should not have any value 5 comma x 5 into 5 25 will be stored here And when we call this procedure, the value of out parameter will go to x. x is a bind variable. We can print x. Since value is available in x, we can print the value of x at any point of time. We can call this through anonymous block also, no restriction. Another procedure p2 out first one is number which is in parameter second one is number which is out parameter v1 into 5 we are passing 2 using local variable 2 into 5 which is 10 next anonymous block local variable same thing we printed the local variable Now let us take two variables x and y. We have defined two global variables in the environment. 8 comma x, x is having 40. 3 comma x, x is having 15. In out. A single variable will be acting as input parameter as well as output parameter. We can use the same variable to pass input value and use the same variable to get the output value. Single variable instead of 2 or 3. V1 is in parameter, V2 is in out parameter. There are two parameters here. Inside that we are multiplying V1 and V2, storing it in V2 because V2 is out, in out. 4 into 3 v1 is number it will accept in param input value v2 in out in it has to accept input value but also out it has to return output value to store that memory is required so when we pass both numbers it is throwing error message <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
if you pass both variable also it will throw error because first one is in parameter you should provide the value now since first one is in second one is in out parameter first one we need to pass a value second one we need to pass a variable but it is also in out parameter it should have input value input value it cannot accept directly through the variable it will accept the input value create a variable assign a value to that use that variable as in out parameter so it will read the value what is there inside that as input c4 comma y colon y colon indicates bind variable but what is there in y it is just defined here nothing it's null so when you use 4 comma y x is having 15 4 comma x 15 into 4 which is 60 when we print the value of x which is 60 because it is out parameter also 4 comma x now it is 60 60 into 4 240 this is 10 5 comma a a is 10 so 5 into 50 5 into 10 which is 50 So this is how we can pass in, out or in out parameters to the procedures and get the values from out or in out parameters through procedures. In the next topic we will see how to pass the parameters, how to use parameters for function.